for the mesenteries of the shark, the largest one is the dorsal mesentery, and it's all the mesenteries that connect to the dorsal wall. Um, and underneath the dorsal mesentery, there's a bunch of different categories or names for each individual mesentery. So this mesentery that you see here that connects the, to the cranial part of the intestine, that is just called the mesentery. And the one that connects the esophagus and stomach underneath here. This is the greater omentum or the mesogaster here. And then the dorsal mesentery that connects to the form is the mesocolon. And you could see it connected to the digitiform gland here as well. And then for the gastrosplenic ligament, which is also mesentery, if you just think stomach and then spleen, it's the mesentery between the two of them. And then the falciform ligament, mine, it's been cut some, but whenever you think falciform, just think that it connects the liver to the mid um, ventral side of the shark. And the osteum tuberium here, mine's been destroyed, but if you looked in here, there would be a hole that would go to the ovidex, and that's the osteum tuberium. And for that, the main thing to know is just the definition of it. And then for the lesser omentum, it is um, also called the gastrohepatoduodenal ligament. So, and it has two different branches of it. And it goes from the liver to the stomach. And you can see that there's this momentum that comes from the bile duct. And then it branches here and here. And all of those are part of the lesser momentum. And then for the hepatoduodenal ligament, it goes from the liver here to the curvature of the stomach. And then for the um, Sorry, the, this is the hepatogastric. The hepatoduodenal goes to the more cranial part of the intestines where you would kind of think the duodenum would be. So this is hepatoduodenal. This is hepatogastric, if you just think. Um, and remember on the slideshow, those two are mixed up. And then for the subsidiary mesenteries, those are the ones for the sexual organs. So for a female, the mesotuberium would be the one that anchors the oviducts to the wall. And then for the ovary, it's mesovarium. And it's harder to see here, but just know that it the mesentery that anchors it is the mesovarium. And then for the male, the mesorchium would be what anchors the testes to the wall. And then for the structures of the digestive organ, um, whenever you cut through your stomach, and you looked inside. Again, for the esophagus, you saw the papillae. And then for the stomach, you saw the rugae. And as for like definitional terms, the cardiac region would be the region, the more cranial region of the stomach. Um, on some specimen, the distinction between the esophagus and the stomach will be a little bit harder. So you would mainly just need to know the definition of the cardiac region. And then the body would be the bulk of the stomach, the main portion of it. And then the pyloric region would be the region where the pyloric sphincter is located at. And then the greater curvature would be the part of the stomach where the mesentery attaches and the other side being the lesser curvature. Um, and then the spiral valve is in the intestines or the spiral intestine and it's just the valve that you could see here. And then Ari said the lobes of the liver, but again, it's the right lobe, the median lobe, and then left lobe would be back here. And on the median lobe is the gallbladder, which you could see here. Some of them won't be as big as others, but it's on the median lobe nearest the right lobe. And then for the different ducts, whenever you scrape away near the cranial part of the gallbladder, you'll see ducts leading from the liver to the gallbladder, and those are the hepatic ducts. And then once the bile leaves 
the gallbladder, it goes through the bile duct here. And whenever you're touching or open dissecting, you'll see that the liver has a lot of oils coming from it, and all of that oil is called squalene. And that's it for the structures of the digestive organs.